Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great pack opening video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we are going to be cracking open this bad boy, a Dissension Fat Pack. Um, another throwback to some of the older sets. Um, now I actually really didn't play much during this set. Um, I mean I dabbled here and there but I really didn't. Uh, play a whole lot, but I can definitely appreciate the stuff that comes out of this set um, Artwork was still really good in this set. Not that artwork is bad now, but art, the artwork has definitely changed over the years And uh, I feel it is it has a different feel to it now than it did so um, And also these fat packs are a little bit different um, In that they have different contents now. It's pretty much cards uh, a spin down and lands that's about it this one especially these ones uh these have a lot more now you get less in packs but we'll go over all that here in a second so we go ahead and take this out we got the first part the first box there we go and then we've got the second box so yeah, these ones had two boxes in them because of all the cool stuff in it. So I am going to ever so gently attempt to separate this. Oh, let's not start ripping. I say it's they use uh, that kind of gel glue, but these have sat for so long that it starts to harden all right there we go and this is the landscape oh, this way that you get uh that's you know the pictures inside uh i kind of like it the, you know just the, the the cityscape of uh ravnica is i believe what that is uh supposed to be but anyways we'll throw that to the side to put with the rest of our uh, I don't know what you'd call those, the wrapper pictures? I don't know. Then we got there our Dissension book. It's got uh, you know, essentially just a list of all the cards. Um, I do like the art on the cover of that. Put that off to the side as well. And then I think this will be our book box. It is. Okay, so this one comes with our Dissension novel. Um, and I believe I actually, I already have this one. I, I already have this book. Um, so we'll, we'll find something good to do with this. But, uh, and for any of you who enjoy more than just the game, if you like the lore even a little bit, I highly recommend, um, picking up some of the books. They don't necessarily have to be read in order, um, but they are... They're fun stuff. Um, I enjoy reading them. I'm actually currently about uh, a third of the way through um, Ice Age Cycle Book 1, uh, The Gathering Dark. And, man, these are so good. So good. So, anyways, let's quit babbling. Toss this off to the side. Because I know you guys really want to see me start opening some packs. So that's what we're going to do here. Slide this open. We got a little cardboard thing, and then we've got one big old pack of everything wrapped up. Oh, these I completely forgot. These have the uh, the counter, the life counter doohickey. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and cut that open here. Is that enough to do it? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So we got our dissension. Cool little life counter. Uh, I mean, don't be wrong. I definitely I I like the spin downs, but these were uh, I like these a little better. It's very hard to knock one of these over. 
So, yeah, good times there. And then, oh, and that's the other thing. They used to come with with dividers. So you could divide your decks. Look at that. Back this up so you can actually see it. I completely forgot about that. Oh, and then the pro... <laughs> Uh, the Pro Tour pro, pro Player Cards was something they used to do as well. Jose Babbard. Babbard? Sure. Argentina. Pro Tour debut, Worlds of 2000 in Brussels. Good stuff. I will probably never have one of these of my own. I'm okay with that, though. All right, so then we've got our Dissension land pack, which uh, comes with the, the Ravnica lands. And then we've got our Dissension packs. Now, this is back, uh, there was only six packs in these. So, but you know what, that is what it is. Without further ado, we are going to bust open these packs, uh, and we are going to slow roll um, through this uh, just because there is only six packs I realize it's going to make for a longer video but with this older stuff that's just what I like to do alright we got an Ogre Gatecrasher Ocular Halo Aura Eidolon Rat Co Rack Dose Carnarium there we go Cynic Ragworm Entropic Eidolon Gob Hobbler Rats. That's interesting. I don't remember that guy. Valor Made Real. Nettling Curse. Kilt Suit Cultist. Street Savvy. And we've got our uncommons. We've got Pain Magnification. Squealing Devil. Uh, Navij, Navahen, Navagen, Heart of Progress. That's a mouthful. And for a rare, we got Simic Sky Swallower. I know this guy. No, thank you. All right, you know what? That's all right. That's the first rare. It doesn't matter. I like these old sets. Um, it's fun opening. It's really fun. Tell you what, though. They really seal these packs better than they do today. Not that there's a uh, problem with how they're sealed today. I, I don't think it, uh, it offers any detriment to how they're sealed today. Um, ooh, that guy's got a little bit of chew on him. All right. So we got an Entropic Eidolon. We did get a Utopia Sprawl, so we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. That's a hot little bit right there. We got a Rakdos Ixpitter. Simic Signet. I don't remember if these are still worth it. I know for a hot second they were worth something, but I, I don't remember now. Another Ogre Gate Crasher. Demon Jester. Look at that guy. Yo, oh, yeah. Love this old stuff art. Kilt Suit Cultist again. Another Street Savvy. Azurius First Wing. Writ of Passage. We got a Plax Caster Frogling. This is our first one coming. Brace for Impact. We got a Spell Snare. I I don't know if that's actually up there, but I know it's uh, I know it's good. We'll put it over here. And we got a Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth. Uh, oh yeah, Spell Snares at five bucks. Wow. And, and the Grand Arbiter is at uh, like eight and a half bucks. So And then we got a foil too. We got a foil street savvy. And I'm putting this stuff in the wrong pile. We'll put the foils over here. A foil street savvy. No idea what that's worth. Honestly don't. Go with our next pack. Man, these are sealed good. Y'all enjoying yourself so far? I really hope you are. We got a Stealing Stance. Wrecking Ball. Sandstorm Eidolon. 
Slaughterhouse Bouncer. Another Carnarium. Sit Saito Spawn Shambler, if that's how you pronounce it. Beacon Hawk. Overrule. Utvara Scalper. Plumes of Peace. Soul Sworn Jury. We got a Brain Pry as our first uncommon. Might of the Nephilim. Azorius Guild Mage. And we got a. Is it? Oh, our rare is foil. Sprouting Pro. Sprouting Phytohydra. Photohydra. Phytohydra. Defender. Whenever it's dealt damage, you may put a token that's a copy of. Oh. All right, then. Interesting. I don't see that being worth a whole lot, but I could be wrong on that. All right. Got through the first three packs there. I forgot that... Uh, the uh, in these older packs, the foil replaces itself out of the pack. So if they, if it's a rare, then it replaces your rare. Uncommon, it replaces your uncommon, etc. etc. All right, we got it. Oh man, I think that's the second one of this particular card that's been like that. Another Entropic Eidolon, another Eutropia Sprawl. That's good stuff. Rakdos Expitter. This is the same pack. Sigmit Signet. Simic Signet. Ogre Gate Crasher. Demon's Jester. Beacon Hawk. Enemy of the Guild Pack. I think that one's different. We got Riot Spikes. Taste for Mayhem. Simic Initiate. Another Spell Snare. I'll go ahead and take that. We got a Hellhole Rats, Slithering Shade, and we got a Mor Mormor Vig Simic Visionary. No idea where that guy is at. Uh, I don't see it on the list of... Oh, it's at, it's at four bucks. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Two packs left. Let's see what we can do here. Macabre Waltz. Another Wrecking Ball. Sisto Spawn Shambler. Guardian of the Guild Pack. Simic, Sig Simic Signet. Seal of Fire. I actually think that's a halfway decent one. I don't recall 100%, but... Yeah, we'll put it over here. Writ of Passage. Hazda X... Exonerator. There we go. Exonerator. Delirium Schemes. Kill Suit Cultist. Azorius First Wing. We got a Prav. Prav. Spires of Order. Squealing Devils, our second uncommon. An Old School Condown. All right. And we got Proper Burial. Last pack. Let's see what kind of stuff we can get out of this. Uh, so far, I'm going to say I'm, I'm happy with this. It's, you know, no big money in cards so far, but uh, we got uh, we got some decent stuff. We got the book. And, oh man. Can I get this pack open? There we go. Ouch. <laughs> We got another Macabre Waltz. We got a Silk Wing Scout. Assault Zep Zeppelid. Interesting. Karam. Rakdos Signet. Rakdos Ixbitter. Shielding Plax. Vesper Ghoul. Enigma Eidolon. Gob Hobbler Rats. Valor Made Real. Plax Manta is our first uncommon. 
Uh, Viking in- Intuition? Vision? Vision? I don't know. We got Ragamuffin. Ragamuffin? I didn't even know that was a card. Hellbent. Sacrifice a creature or land. Draw a card. Blast ability only if you have no card in hand. All right. And our last rare is... A Sprouting Hider. Oh, we, so we got two of the same rare. You know, that's okay there. That's okay. Um, I probably missed something of the stuff of value. But let's recap real quick. We got the Sprouting Phytohydra. Uh, we got two... Yeah, we got two spell snares out of that. Uh, we got a Utopia Sprawl. Uh, we got the Foil Sprouting Phytohydra. Phytohydra, or however you pronounce that, a foil street savvy, and oh, we did get a second Utopia Sprawl, so two Spell Snares, two Utopia Sprawls, and then we got Proper Burial, Mormor Vig, Simic Visionary, Grand Arbiter, Grand Arbiter, 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 Augustine the Fourth, and Simic Sky Swallower. So, uh, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. This was fun. Uh, I, like I said, I love opening these older sets. Um, like I, said, I didn't really play a lot during this particular one, but it's always good stuff to, to get these older packs and open them up. And, uh, like I said, we'll find something to do with that book. Maybe, maybe we'll give it away to one of you guys or something. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, click that like button. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG. Now, if you could do me a huge favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. They have three different locations, and they run magic events every Monday through Saturday, and their Friday Night Magic consists of Standard, Modern, and Legacy every week. This is why I've personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.